Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today you can tell different background. This is my room, and I am, um, yeah, we're gonna be doing something a tad bit different today. We are going to be painting, and now, yes, I am gonna have to situate my camera. Not good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so we're gonna be painting a silhouette. If you don't know what a silhouette is, it's, I think it's French for shadow. So, you know like when sunrise or sunset and it's that beautiful time of day to where you just look like a black figure in the sunset? That's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to have to open this painting up. I'll be right back. Okay, got that ready. So I got my canvas here and my palette. And I have 12 colors acrylic paint. These are non-toxic paints. And we are going to be using two different sized brushes. And of course we need water. Make sure you're wearing an outfit that you don't mind getting dirty. I've had this outfit for like years now. I don't quite mind. So for a silhouette, we're gonna need some main colors. We're gonna need a yellow, a red, an orange, a pink, of course black, and purple. These are the colors that we're gonna need for our silhouette. And I'm gonna have to go on my other kit and grab the, yeah, the black and the orange. They aren't looking too right. Well, I mean, I guess I can salvage the orange, but yeah, I mainly need black because black is how we're going to be making the figures and if you don't know what kind of figures I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making a two little kitty cats. I've made this painting a couple of times before, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to go and portion these on my painting. Oh no. The, seriously, this is yellow. Oh no, I remember this yellow. Couldn't open it. Here. This is why I brought both my kits, because I know. Here we go. Decent amount of yellow. I'm going to, yeah, I'll film. Then Scarlet. No, Scarlet. Scarlet's like an orangey color, so I don't know why they call that the type of Scarlet that is. Now, here we go. You'll around need this much paint. Okay. Black. A bunch of black. So, yeah. I've made this painting quite a couple of times before. So, it's not going to be like anything I haven't experienced before. I think that this is going to be a very fun, entertaining video. I hope you all like it. My door's open. That's going to irk me. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I kept like seeing the door in this corner of the screen like it was just irking me. So we got our colors, we got our bowl of water, and our two brushes. So what you're originally going to do is wet your brush, then you're going to paint near the top of the screen. I mean not screen, painting or canvas. You're going to just paint pure water on the top. And that's so that you'll get a good blend going. Yeah, there we go. Get it. If you need to pause at any point during the video, if you're trying to make this painting too, then I would, yeah, I'd suggest pausing it because I might be a little bit of a faster painter, a little bit of a slower painter than you guys out there. So you always start with the lighter first, then go to the darker. So I'm gonna grab my yellow on my brush and I'm going to start painting this sun. Now I will do this at some different points in the video just to show Nico, stop it. He's attacking my pant strings from the bottom of the table. Here we go, yeah. So you're gonna make like a little semi-oval, like a semicircle, but it's an oval. There we go. Gotta get it looking like this. Nice, wet, and juicy. 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to wet your brush. You're going to rinse your brush, then you're going to grab a tad bit of red, and you're going to put it up forward, up like this. If you guys can see this easier, then yeah. Like this. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to rinse your brush, and you're going to grab your orange on your brush. You're going to paint in between. This is like you're doing a rainbow here, and you're going to blend the red and the orange together. There we go. Then you're going to rinse your brush. Then paint in between. There we go. And here's how it looks so far. So if I'm starting to see my sun go a little bit more towards the downward side, so I'm going to touch it up with a little bit more yellow. Now guys, I have painted these silhouettes more times than I care to even think of countless, countless times. Um, there. Yeah, that's looking better. This is the beginning to your silhouette. Um, yeah. So it's not going to be like this splotchiness forever. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your pink out and you're going to paint above the red area. And you're going to paint a lot of the pink like this. Yeah. I'm just going to paint a lot of this pink area right here. Ooh. And I'm going to water my brush a lot because I want this to be nice and juicy painting. Nice juicy. I don't know why every time I say juicy when I hold up like a pink paint or something. It reminds me of a dragon fruit. I've always wanted to try a dragon fruit, but you know, one of those things where it's like, I've never tried it, but it's like one of my favorite foods though, because you just like imagine it, or it's like, I don't know if I'm going to be allergic to this kind of thing, but I've always wanted to try a dragon fruit. Okay, so very sloppy coat of the pink. And now I'm going to just take my clean brush and swipe the pink, get a little bit of red on the tip of my brush, a little bit of pink. I'm going to swish that up right there. Blendy, blendy, blendy. Wet my brush tad bit. Sometimes when you do canvas paintings or something, they go surprisingly faster than you'd imagine or in some cases they go abnormally long for the simplest thing. Like, I'm not judging anyone out there who's not good painters, but I believe everyone's a good painter. If they really try, they're all good painters. Even for the younger viewers that you're watching my video, yeah, I say that this is a pretty, pretty uh, time consuming. If you wanna like get the blend perfect, which I will wanna get the blend absolutely superb. So, yeah, this is going to take a little bit longer. And you're going to start blending a little bit of it into the orange. Rinse my brush. Got the orange. There we go. This is easy. Then the yellow. So this kind of takes a, a amount, a good, decent amount of paint. But here's what it looks like. Yeah, it's looking good so far. It looks like a cute little rainbow. But uh, I'm going to rinse my brush. Now here comes the violet. The violet's kind of a deep color, but um, I'm going to put my... Here. going to be taking my violet, mixing it right there, taking a tad bit of pink, mixing it with it and yellow. This is going to get the perfect violet -y color, I would think. There we go. Now, 
You're going to paint a little bit right there. Ooh, looks pretty. And this is just going to be like the violet for the outside area. Bunch of purple, tad bit of pink, tad bit of yellow. This is going to make the outside violet or the outer, like a little core violet or crust violet. Or shell, it's like a little tortoise shell violet. Yeah, I'm calling it that for today. You don't like it? I don't have anything to say about that. But um, yeah, now I'm gonna wet my, my brush, rinse it out, get a tad bit of pink, and start blending that to purple. And I will show you once I'm done with this process. And this is um, night turning into day, not day turning into night. It can be whichever version you want it to be, but uh, yeah. Day turning into night, night turning into day. I think it would be night turning into day because since I'm gonna be doing cats in this scenario, I would think that cats, cats are actually nocturnal creatures. I would know I have three cats. I can't sleep at night because of that fact. <laughs> because they run up and down the stairs at night, all the way through the hallway. It keeps everybody awake at night, so, yeah. Okay, gotta get a little bit more of that pink. Touch it up. Touch it up, boy. Okay. Make a, you wanna make them like light muted -y colors, but uh, yeah. Okay, here's what that turned into. It's looking pretty darn good so far, I think. And how many minutes has this video been? 11? This is a pretty fast project. project. Okay, now I'm going to take the pure violet, the non-mixed violet, and I'm going to paint the rest of the painting that. But what I'm going to do is just leave like a tiniest amount of space between the muted violet we did and that dark violet and our pure dark violet so we'll have plenty of space to mix and blend blend you okay this project's like very calming and relaxing all painting in my case is calming and relaxing except if you're doing something really hard towards like no one, no one distract me right now. This is like a life or death situation for me. I bet Da Vinci or whoever painted Mona Lisa was like, everybody calm down, kind of a thing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that was my whisper shout or like my, I normally have a very loud tone. And if you didn't notice, I don't have any microphone, so I have to talk abnormally loud. So um, this is actually pretty muted quiet talk for me. Okay, now I'm going to mix a tad bit of yellow, uh, medi a mediocre amount of pink. Let me a sunset color. I can't see that well. And then take some purple, mix it with that. Get this ucky, ucky bucky purple. Kind of like a lavendery. But then that's why I mix in between. There we go. Now I'm going to take more pink, put that in between. There we go. You guys can see, um, I need to like scooch closer in. My leg needs to stand up from your chair and your popcorn to look at this one. <laughs> and I will show you the end result before we go on to painting the, the, the detailed stuff with my detailed brush. Not to lie, my water bowl looks like a silhouette right now because it's like galaxy colors, like pinks, purples, and stuff like that mixed in between. So occasionally, if I think in this painting, if there's something missing, I'll like dip my brush in that color just a tad bit yeah, there's more purple there. Yeah. 
gonna touch that out with more purple. Now it looks like there's not enough of the lighter color. Great. But um yeah. It's all part of the process. All part of the process. Now I'm gonna take my wet brush and kind of like drag it across, making it wetter, juicier. I need more pink. Ah! I bet if like Da Vinci or whoever or like real big artists out there, they're like, okay, I gotta do this and I need a lot, for instance, of orange. And then it's like, wait a minute, I'm all out of orange. I can't go to the store now. I can't run to go to the storage bin yet. I need wet orange paint right now or else this painting's bogus. <laughs> and I bet that happens to you guys out there. I feel so deeply, incredibly sorry for you all <laughs> who have to go through that. Um, but uh, yeah, that just seems like, wow. But I've never really been through that. This is actually the first time I've painted in quite some time. So I feel very proud and honored that I am sharing it with all you viewers out there who decide to watch my videos. I find that very generous of you to tune in to the first time me painting in about a couple of months now. I haven't painted in a while. And I will show you my original one. I don't like it because because it's all supposed to be like a snowy Christmas day kind of thing towards like the sun and stuff is reflecting off of the snow and it's two caps in a fenced in yard so next to a tree with the leaves have fallen so I didn't like it because I didn't add the leaves I didn't it was just wow <laughs> it was ugly I had to admit it was ugly now, I'm going to take my black. This is an important part right now. I'm going to take my black, put it right here. I just randomly put it somewhere. Wetting it down. Now, your black has to be like the perfect consistency or else this part won't work at all. Okay, like this was one of those moments where it's like, stop, wait a minute. <laughs> Okay. Now this is where your detail brush comes into play. I feel like Harry Potter right now. Hocus pocus. And it is getting closer to fall and Christmas. So I thought, hey, this would be a cute little idea. Now, here's the tricky part because you gotta like do it really detailed and close up you're supposed to make a pretty straight neat line so I'm actually gonna pause the video and I'll be back to when I'm done with that okay I'm back I currently have my computer on my bed so and I'm all the way at the other end of my bedroom so okay so this is how the painting has turned out so far it's pretty cute I like it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make birds in the sky. Now the way you're gonna do birds in the sky is you're gonna do really long stretched out letter M's. So, and, and you're gonna make them slightly tilted. There we go. Oh my gosh, I hope that was all that. There we go. There's one little bird. Okay, now one more right there in that block, and maybe one right up there. There we go, that's cute and easy. We got it. Got cute little birds in the sky. I go like rinse my brush with my left hand, but uh, here's how the painting is turning out. Looking pretty cute. I would hang this up in my house. So, um, now here comes a slight tricky part. We're going to, actually it's not the tricky part, it's actually one of the easier parts. On the right hand side of your painting, you're going to go into the horizon line. You're going to make very slight bumps. There we go. 
slightly noticeable bumps in a horizon line on this side. And if you don't know why I'm doing this, this is going to be like the mountains. Because I live um, in the mountains, so I see a lot of these, except you don't see a horizon line. It's like mountains for miles around, literally. So you don't see mountains that often, but there's a little mountains. I feel like they're on an island, and it's like, ah, oh, the sunset on the island. Okay, so now here comes the cats. This is going to be my favorite part. Okay, i got to sit down for this part because they're like on the right middle side, I guess. So I'm going to do one big, tall, strong cat. And yes, I am going to do my best to ability to make this not look like a cartoon character cat. But, uh, they got like a chest. Then okay. Sorry, they have thick screens just wobble those my cats jumping on the bed like idiots. Okay, yes, it's still playing. I have to like occasionally look up to see if it is playing because that would really suck if it wasn't. Now, uh, make the head look defined a little bit. There we go. There we go. That looks cute. Now, I'm going to like do a little defined whiskers. Now you can do one cat or two cats. I'm personally only gonna do, I'm gonna do two cats, one neck to neck, but here's the first little kitty. And I have to really get close up for that so you can see the whiskers. It's the first little cat. It's cute. I really like it. I tried to my best of my ability to make it not look like a cartoon character cat, but it kind of did in the end. Um. I wanted it to have like a furry chest, so I'll do this. Take my black paint again and do like little fur marks. There we go, now it looks like a furry chest. Yeah, you guys won't be able to see it. But in real life, you will be able to see it. You do it just like on the chest, make it like a little bit bigger, and do like the little furs on it. That would look cute. In which that's what I did. So you can do one cat, you can do two cats, you can do however many cats you want. You can you don't even need to do cats. I'm just gonna do two. So I'm gonna do the other one, a kitten. So it's gonna be. Like they're back to back, but their backs aren't really touching. And here we go. Giving the kitten a bat tail because my other kitty, Akasha, she's a black kitty. And little Nico, he is super fluffy, so I'm giving a bat tail. The other kitten. There we go. There we go. Looks cute. Oh, this little kitty looks just like the mommy. It's like, I'm going into like, I'm in detailed mode. Okay, you gonna have bigger ears than the mom. Chest fur. Okay, 
I am done with that. Nico, will you get off my pants? Okay. There's the cute little kitten right next to the mommy. It's so cute. Okay, so they're right there, and I am going to have to do shadow shadows to them. Even though they're like silhouette kitties, I'm going to do shadows. So I'm going to take my black, scrape that there. Ow, Nico. And mix it with yellow. Make it like a muted shadow. There we go. And the belly, chest. And you're going to want to make the um, other shadows look weird and like weird looking and like sloppy. You're going to want the shadows looking sloppy. And weird. My goodness, Nico. 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 Off my pants. I have to put them in my own pocket. Yuck. But uh, here are them sloppy shadows. And yes, I did do the tails the wrong way. Don't judge me. But that's how it's going to look. Now, here's what, where we're going to need some focus. We are going to need to do the tree. So really wetting down my black. There we go. And now I'm going to do the big old stock. Did you just see me like spear that across my painting? Oh, Nico. My cat Nico is literally making bread on my bare leg. Ow, it hurts so much. Nico. Nico, I get that you love me. And I know that you're doing some zen stuff, kit and caboodle, but it hurts really bad. Okay. Here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some roots. We're going to make like two P. We're going to make two branches going down. There we go. There we go. Doing some roots. So there's the tree and the roots. And now I'm going to do like make this tree into a V. Making the two trunks go upward. To infinity and beyond. So now that I got those, the, it's looking into like a V shape. I'm gonna do some twiglings. Now you can be sloppy with this part. It's not really up to me, but um, I'm just gonna make some branches and some twigs from the leftover leaves and I'll be right back okay so I just got done doing cute little branches in my um, other one that I did a it wasn't this detailed and B it had too many branches and twiglings so I wanted to change that prophecy and not do that so Make the twigs. Making that shadow, and I'm making it way fatter. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cute. Now what I'm going to do 
to finish off this painting, I'm gonna take my more thinner one. I'm gonna take it at the tip. I'm gonna make little fluffs sticking out down of the grass. Like little things of grass sticking up out of the snow. And then if you want to, you could add a gate. I'm not adding a gate to this one because I feel like these are wild cats who want to be free. Ah. Oh, gosh. Oh, Miko, you're so sweet. He's been holding on my leg this whole time. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, buddy. We'll keep holding on. There you go. Now, to finish this off, I'm going to need to do my signature. Okay, I like to change my signature every time and I always do my signature so big so I don't really have a signature really but I just do a creative little signature every time I paint but uh, here's the final painting ah, I really love this thing so much here I'm gonna hold it by the corners for you wow I love this one it's way better than my old one and one of these days I will end up doing a redo of all the paintings I did. I did this one. I did one that was just like this, but a summertime version. I then did a hot air balloon. That one was absolutely atrocious. I hate it. So the hot air balloon going over the mountains, it looks like it's going over an ocean. And yeah, the sky is dull and ugly. I didn't, I don't like that hot air balloon painting. But we're not talking about hot air balloons. I'm probably going to redo my hot air balloon at some point, but... Ooh, I love this thing so much. I'm going to go and shut a curtain so that you guys can get a natural lighting. Oh my gosh, this is significantly better. Why haven't I done this whole video? Normally near the very end, I fix my mistakes, but here's what it looks like. Beautiful silhouette kitties. Looks like Nico and Akasha. It's so cute. But I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more of these cute little paintings or if you want to see arts and crafts. I will even be doing art challenges hopefully in the future. That's something I've always wanted to do. Like you have only a certain amount of money and you're going to go to a Dollar Tree to get these Art supplies and you're gonna have to make something with them that's kind of the thing I mean by art challenge but oh my gosh holy guacamole I love this thing schnitzel this is amazing okay so don't forget like subscribe to my youtube channel see more of these things and I will see you in the next video bye